Very big names in the world of art will hit the beach early tomorrow morning in Sarasota. Bill Campbell says you're invited. Bring your shovel and help spread some environmental consciousness. Lido Beach, one of the most beautiful stretches of white sand on the Gulf of Mexico, will be crawling with artists and environmentalists tomorrow. All of them interested in saving our Earth. This is the second one down here, you can see it. Since 1988, artist Todd Brittingham has left his environmental mark here in his Earth sculptures. The areas between the dunes are filled with foliage debris and seeds. Then the tide takes over. The water will disperse the seeds all over like they do here, and you can see how it's growing. So, so the ultimate aim is to what? Uh, well, it's to regenerate the beach and to make a piece of art. We're, we're tying the beach together with the sea grass and the sea oak so it doesn't wash away as quickly. Beyond that, it is a practical place for the birds to nest. Sure. That's it. You got it. Todd's efforts have created a state-mandated bird sanctuary right here on Lido Beach. He's also attracted many influential people to his corner, people like world-renowned artist James Rosenquist. It's admirable that he's, he's doing something, whatever the outcome, and he's not, he's leaving a design here, but the design obviously will, will disappear, and the result will be uh, uh, ecological. So if you dig ecology, bring your shovel and your lunch to Lido Beach. Sculpting begins at sunup. In Sarasota, Bill Campbell, 10 News. Now to get to Lido Beach, having marked the 23rd annual observance of Earth Day, and with big Earth Day concerts this weekend in Boston and Seattle, we've compiled a short list of recommended reading on the subject of the ecology. Dr. Helen Caldicott, an anti-nuclear activist, recently published, If You Love This Planet, A Plan to Heal the Earth. One of her remedies is voting, which she believes ought to be compulsory. Along those lines is Voting Green, a new book by Jeremy and Carol Rifkin, which examines the environmental stances and voting records of current congressional and presidential candidates. And an overview can be found in the World Watch Reader on global environmental issues from the award-winning investigative magazine World Watch. Finally, in Sarasota, Florida, artist Todd Brittingham has created his fifth annual Earth Day beach sculpture. Hundreds of volunteers helped him draw lines in the sand at Lido Beach for a 750-foot-long design which is filled with seaweed and plant seed so that while the art may wash away, the plants will help prevent beach erosion. In fact, one of Brittingham's earlier Lido Beach sculptures led to the establishment of a bird sanctuary when some endangered species began nesting in the outgrowth. That's the news for now. Try to catch our daily news show, The Day in Rock, at 8 and 12.30 every night, and again at 8 and 12.30 the following day. We'll be back with more news later, right here on MTV.